With the conditional versions of command blocks, only the block itself is activated or not depending on the condition. The rest of the chain executes regardless. Therefore, if you need to use the condition more than once, you will need to add additional testing and conditional blocks. It is not always as simple as chaining multiple conditional blocks together to execute multiple commands on a true condition, because each block is testing the previous block rather than the original test. Only if there is no chance of failure of the commands can you get away with chaining conditional blocks. You must repeat tests if you have multiple commands to execute depending on the condition. Also, there is no built-in negative conditional block, so if you want to perform an action when a condition is not met, additional tests are required. Here we have an example which tests the location above the emerald block to the left. If a diamond block is found, this block here is set to diamond block, and a message is displayed. This example uses chained conditional blocks. So the second block, which displays the message, depends on the success of the first block, which sets the diamond block. As you can see, if the diamond block already exists, the set block command will fail, and therefore the message does not display. To avoid this, you must test the result of the original test to determine whether the second command should execute. This is done using test for block to see if the success count was 1, indicating true. In this example, you can see that the second dependent command which displays the message is conditional on the test for block command checking the original test. This example works whether the diamond block exists in the indi indicator location or not. Some things to remember from this segment. You must repeat tests if you have multiple commands dependent on a condition and there is any chance of commands failing to execute. The test for block command can be used to test the result of a previous test, true or false. And as there is no negative conditional, you must use test for block to determine false.